Assalamu alaikum my dear students once again welcome to my youtube channel by the name MS lectures and today I will be demonstrating you about the topic of the biochemistry which is the lipid peroxidation so what is the lipid peroxidation when the reactive oxygen free radical reacts with the poly unsaturated fatty acids so lipid peroxidation occurs so first of all we will tell, uh, I will tell you about it. the definition of, of this lipid peroxidation then when the reactive oxygen when reactive oxygen free radical when reactive oxygen free radical attacks on the attacks on CH2 group CH2 groups of of polyunsaturated polyunsaturated fatty acid so the lipid peroxidation occurs you mean that I will show you by the help of the general reaction that what is the general reaction of this lipid Peroxidation. So, what is the general reaction of this lipid peroxidation? So, this is the general reaction that oxygen. This is the this is the CH two groups of the lipid. So, reactive oxygen this reacts with this and it becomes stable and make this CH two group unstable like this, like this. So what happens is that this oxygen free radical extracts the proton from this CH2 group and makes it a free radical or makes it unstable. So this is the general reaction of this lipid peroxidation. Now there are actually three mechanisms of lipid peroxidation. We have the three processes initiation, propagation and termination. So we will discuss uh, one by one. Let's follow. Me. So first of all we have the initiation. That what? How this lipid peroxidation process is initiated so first of all this is let's suppose R double bond R double bond or H chain it reacts with the metal which is active so what would happen R double bond or this would become free radical metal would be extracted from it and then hydrogen ion would be hydrogen positive ion will be extracted from it so this is the initiation process furthermore what happens next I have told you that oxygen free radical attacks on the, the CH2 groups so we can assume that this is the CH2 group RH so this is the free radical so when this attacks on this RH chain so what would happen? This R free radical would be this R would become free radical and water molecule would be the outcome. So this is the initiation. That what happens that a reactive mole, any reactive species would, be, would come here and extract the proton from here. It would become stable himself and thereby unstabling it, making it a free radical. So after this initiation we have the process known as the propagation so what happened in the propagation process in the propagation this reactive free radical attacks with the stable oxygen molecule so keep this in mind whenever a free radical combines with the stable molecule the result is always a free radical this is the important point uh, this is the important point to keep in mind so what would happen this would become a free radical R double bond O so this is the propagation in this way this section would be propagated multiple times and it would prol proliferate so you can see that this is the free radical <coughs> free radical has attacked or attached uh, sorry reacted with the stable molecule and the result is free radical so after this the last step which is the termination this is the last step which is the termination in which what happens that both free radicals attaches to each other to form a stable molecules R double bond O plus R double bond O free radical will attach to give this stable molecules so there is another point to keep in mind that whenever both unstable free radical will attach together they will give a stable product as a you can say this this will give a stable product so this uh, point you should must need to keep in mind that whenever 
more unstable free radical would combine with each other they would give rise to a stable species known as the uh, you can say stable product okay so this is the termination so now i would tell you that how to stop this lipid peroxidation process because this can lead to some harmful effects so we can use first of all antioxidants we can use antioxidants which antioxidants we can use catalase we can use catalase and glutathione and glutathione so this is the first uh, you can say step in order to stop this lipid peroxidation second is the after antioxidant we have the chain breaking chain breaking process so what happens so we have to somehow stop the as the step of the propagation and we do this by the process of the chain breaking and this chain breaking process occurs by the neutralization of the free radicals so when the free radicals are neutralized the chain breaking process occurs so what happens neutralization neutralization of free radicals occur of free radicals occur in this chain breaking process free radicals occur so uh, what uh, actually causes the chain breaking we have the vitamin e in this regard so vitamin e actually causes this chain breaking process after this at the last i will tell you about the harmful effects of the lipid peroxidation that what are the harmful effects so harmful effects of lipid peroxidation which includes the atherosclerosis and the inflammation athero sclerosis and inflammation and inflammation so in this in this video i have uh, told you about that how lipid peroxidation process occurs what are those three uh, processes that involve the initiation propagation and termination and how to hinder or how to inhibit this process of the lipid peroxidation by the help of the antioxidants and chain breaking and at the last i have told you about the harmful effects hope you have understood this lecture well and last but not the least but don't forget subscribe to my lectures thank you